Days of Our Lives Nicole gives Eric his baby and leaves after DNA reveal. Days of Our Lives Clyde tells Chad Abigail is alive, Wild Claim Rock's grieving husband's world. Days of Our Lives Wednesday, May 29 Spoilers Jada and Bobby's Passion Clyde Hunt heats up. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In an forthcoming occasion of Days of Our Lives, E.J. Demira's secret could unravel. If Nicole Walker discovers that Eric Brady is the real father of baby Jude Brady Demira, this disclosure might change the dynamics in Salem and lead to Nicole's exit as she's set to leave city soon. With Nicole's departure verified for July 29th, and the fate of her son Holly Jonas is also in question on Days of Our Lives, the plot hints at a implicit guardianship shift to the hands of Grandma Maggie Corton meanwhile. Eric's exit is also anticipated by the end of the time, leaving the future of baby Jude uncertain. Adding to the drama, Sloan Peterson sneaks into the Demera Mans and clashes with Nicole on Days of Our Lives. This hassle might lead to the verity about Jude's maternity arising. Complications arise when Kristen Demira and Dare. Wilhelm Rolf come involved, potentially adding energy to the fire. As Days of Our Lives progresses, the unfolding drama will keep suckers on the edge of their seats. Days of Our Lives Clyde tells Chad Abigail is alive, Wild Claim Rock's grieving husband's world. Days of Our Lives spoilers reveal that the walls will close in on Clyde Weston, who will have pitfalls coming at him from multiple angles. It's clear that plenitude of people want to take Clyde down, and, in the case of Ava Vitali, she wants to take him out permanently. Chad Demera clearly wouldn't mind if Clyde faced a grim fate. Especially after what he did to Abigail Demera, it looks like Chad might indeed be present when Ava tries to wipe Clyde off the chart. That may be when Clyde blurts out a lug rolling chip in an attempt to save himself. Day's spoilers say Clyde will deliver some mind-blowing news that contemporaneously jewels Chad's world and leaves him filled with deities. Of course, it sounds like Clyde will claim Abigail is alive and leave Chad wondering if it could actually be true. Part of Chad won't want to get his expedience up, especially when Clyde could just be telling him what he wants to hear in a dire moment. At the same time, numerous characters have risen from the grave on days ahead, especially with the help off dare. Wilhelm Rolf Chad may know better than to fully dismiss Clyde's story despite his dubitation. Anyhow, there have formerly been some bigwig clamors about Annalian, McCord being a sneaky Abigail recast, so Day's spoilers are starting to back up what we've been hearing. The plot's going to be enough complicated and may leave suckers guessing along with Chad for a while, especially if Abigail has been brainwashed into believing she's someone differently. It could be a situation where everyone's left wondering if this is the real Abigail or not. Whatever the case, Chad will have to pursue this if there's indeed the fewest chance he could reunite with his soulmate. Abigail could indeed be alive, so Chad will have no choice but to at least consider Clyde's new interpretation of events. Our Days of Our Lives prognostications point to some shocking Abigail curveballs during the week of June 3 to 7 and further, so stay tuned for Chad's response to Clyde's jaw-dropping updates. Days of Our Lives spoilers say Chad will have quite a riddle to attack, so don't miss all the twists and turns ahead. Days of Our Lives Wednesday, May 29 spoilers Jada and Bobby's passion. Clyde Hunt heats up. Days of Our Lives spoilers for Wednesday, May 29, reveal that Eric Brady will get some important, demanded comfort now that he's lost nearly everything that signified to him. Eric's marriage to Sloan Peterson, Brady is over, and more importantly, he's lost Jude Brady now that he's surrendered the baby to Nicole Demera and E.J. Demera once Marlena Evans and John Black hear about all the drama. They all press Eric and try to wrap their heads around Sloan's horrible deception. Still, Marlena will also take a moment to talk to Jada Hunter on Wednesday's Days of Our Lives occasion and stress the significance of an intervention for Everett Lynch, Eka Robert, Bobby, Stein Jada may agree to get together with Stephanie Johnson and plan one, but Stephanie will be busy opening up to Chad Demera beforehand. Days spoilers say Stephanie will bandy the news of Everett's apparent dissociative identity complaint opinion, so Chad will hear hardly and give her all the support she needs right now. Back with Jada, it looks like she'll have some sizzling flashbacks of her marriage to Bobby and the passion they formerly participated before it all fell piecemeal. Over with Steve Johnson days, spoilers say he'll get some suggestions about Clyde Weston and Rebecca Goldman's whereabouts. Days of Our Lives suckers can anticipate Steve to keep following the trail, which should lead to him getting updates on Clyde's den in Montana sooner or laterally. Harris Michaels and Ava Vitali will show up in Montana in the meantime, 
and day spoilers say they all have Lucas Horton on their platoon when they do. Following Lucas' surprise hassle with Goldman, he'll come a useful part of Ava and Harris' scheme. Harris, Ava and Lucas will move full speed ahead with an ambush, but Ava has a fatal plan for Clyde that could end in catastrophe. Days of Our Lives spoilers say the quest for Clyde will toast up with some new unanticipated developments, so we'll bring you more prognostications on the showdown that's brewing. Days of Our Lives stiffens Baby Shock. Gibby's reversal. Bonnie warns Theresa. Days of Our Lives spoilers reveals that E.J. DeMera hoped Nicole DeMera could forgive him for not believing her when she claimed Jude Brady was their son. But she understood why E.J. would not have felt the same connection without carrying Jude like she did. Once E.J. brought up Nicole's job, she decided to talk to Chad DeMera about motherliness leave since she did not want to leave Jude anytime soon. Despite Nicole's happiness now, she felt a little shamefaced since Eric Brady had lost everything. EJ acted like his heart went out to Eric, but he still assured Nicole that they were getting the bliss they'd merited each on. At Eric's place on Tuesday's day's occasion, he realized Sloan Peterson. Brady didn't take her passport, motorist license, credit cards, or auto keys. Rafe Hernandez put out an APB on Sloan and told Eric that they'd find her. Eric and Rafe ultimately showed up at the Demera Mans, where they revealed to EJ and Nicole that Sloan had faded. Rafe refocused out that Sloan did not have the coffers necessary to evaporate with a new identity, but he dropped hints about EJ having those coffers. EJ got protective, but Rafe just meant that EJ had further coffers than the Salem PD and could use his connections to help track Sloan down. Outside the Demera Mans, Eric got emotional over losing Jude, so Rafe did his stylish to offer some comfort. Coming on Tuesday's day's occasion, Melinda Trask packed up AJ's stuff as she reclaimed her old office. Steph and Demera arrived and agreed to take EJ's things back to him as he buttered Melinda up a bit. Once Stefan mentioned Lai Shin's case and pushed Melinda to renew it to free Gabby Hernandez, Demera Melinda looked through the train and just didn't see enough substantiation to exculpate her. After Stefan came slamming in the Demera man's on Tuesday's days of our lives show, EJ and Nicole settled him since Jude was sleeping. When Stefan got updates on Sloan's baby stealing and the news that Jude was their son, he was floored and said he was happy for Nicole as well as EJ. Back with Melinda, Rafe told her about Sloan's exposure and all the stolen baby drama, but she played dumb and acted like Sloan had taken over the relinquishment once the details were locked in. At the Kyriakis man's on Tuesday's day's occasion, Bonnie Kyriakis appeared and admitted to Maggie Kyriakis that she'd been laying low since the house had been so crowded recently. Alex Kyriakis arrived with Theresa Donovan as they prepared to move in together. But Theresa sounded taken suddenly when Alex suggested separate apartments. Alex clarified that they'd also have a room together along with the walk-in closet of Theresa's dreams. After Alex said he'd buy Theresa a wardrobe fitting of someone with the Kyriakis hair at law, she sounded offended over him not putting a marker on their relationship. Latterly, Bonnie spoke with Theresa alone and confessed that she saw a lot of herself in Theresa. After Bonnie suggested about Theresa's interest in Alex's fortune, Theresa wondered if she was criminating her of being a gold digger. Bonnie wasn't there to judge and allowed it was fine as long as Theresa was not conning Alex about her passions. The main thing was for Theresa to love Alex just as important as she loved his plutocrat. After Alex decided the forces were horrible and planned a total overhaul, Maggie said there'd be no construction on the property until after the marriages. Alex set up out about Sarah Horton's engagement to Xander Cook, so he hoped to be invited to the espousal along with Theresa since Victor Kyriakis would want the family to get on. Maggie made it clear to Alex that she had limits when it came to all the demands he was making and wouldn't be pushed around. Alex was surely enjoying the gratuities of his new fortune, but Maggie suggested about the offerings and the strike of being in hair at law that he'd have to accept as well. Days of Our Lives spoilers say Alex is in for a rude awakening down the road, so stay tuned for prognostications on this fake hair at Law's downfall. Thanks for watching these videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.